So we'll be doing device security. Last time I showed how to configure SSH here on a router. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to access the router. First of all, we have to check whether if I'm going to access the remotely a router, okay, SSH is when we're accessing in a secure manner, we have a password that's going to go on the network, go through the channel, would be encrypted. When we configure, that's why SSH was configured on Malibu. Now, how do we access it? We double click here. First, we have to check whether this workstation is able to connect with us. So you see, I've tried uh, uh, the laptop is able to connect with Malibu. It's successful here. So now we come here, we come to the command prompt. So we enter the PC's command prompt. SSH minus L, it's L, of course. The username I've used on the router while configuring SSH was Bob. And the IP address of the server is this. Here it goes. Now I'm able to enter the router. It's going to ask me the password. I think I had put Corona 20. 20. And here I'm already in the uh, router. All right, but I haven't configured uh, the password to access privilege for, uh, mode. That's why it's not allowing me to go in. So that was it. So here I wanted to show you how you connect remotely to any device, whether it's a router or switch. This is the command to be used, SSH minus L. The username you've configured for on your while well, configuring your SSH, like me, I've used use username Bob password Corona twenty twenty. So Bob, the IP address of this uh, of our of that router is one seventy two sixteen sixteen point one. That is the device you want to access. The IP address set on that device that you wish to access. All right, then when you enter, you put the password and you access the router as if you it's in front of you good now i'm going to show you some things on the router yeah here i think i've put the password i'm not sure one two three four five uh okay yeah it's good Next, uh, I'm going to put a password to, you, you would notice from user exec and here we don't have any password. But before I'm going to set the password, I'll show you here username Bob, password was Corona2020. You can see it, it's visible. You can see all the passwords are visible. All right. And I want to show you something more here. If I want all my passwords to be of a minimum length, let's say I'll say the password I'm going to put now on my router should be of a minimum of, let's say, 10 characters. It's how I'm going to configure. Now, if I am to configure a password to access Privilege exec mode. An encrypted password to access privilege exec mode. I'm going to put, uh, let's see, I'm going to put coconut 12 days. Now, first I put it cocoa. Will it accept it? No. It says password too short. Why? Because we have configured security password min dash length is 10 so minimum character should be 10 so now i'm going to type again enable secret let's put it coconut 12 days is it 10 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i think now it's going to accept it we go back into show run So the enable secret has been created. This one is encrypted, but the rest are still visible. But I don't want my passwords to be visible. See, here also you see it visible. If a hacker will accept access my router, it will save all my passwords. So I don't want my password to be visible. So 
So in that case, what do I do? I'll have to encrypt all passwords in my running configuration file. So to encrypt all passwords in my running configuration file, I have to write service password dash encryption. What does it do? It's going to encrypt all passwords in my uh, login uh, in my configuration file. So let's see, we do a show run. This was already encrypted. Now you see, we were saying Corona 20 here. Now we see, we don't see anything. All are encrypted here. All right. So I want to show you uh, something else here. Also, we have to do uh, yeah. If I have to log in, log in your router. If we have to log in the router, but after three wrong attempts, I want the user to be blocked after three wrong attempts let us say within 60 seconds so what would be the let's say i'd say here the command would be login block four let us say if someone has wrongly entered your pass, uh, a password while entering the router three times. Within 60 seconds, that person wrote three times a wrong password. So we are going to block that person. Let's say we block the person for 240 seconds. We are going to block the person. It's four minutes and attempt free within 60 so within one minute within 60 seconds that person wrongly enters the password so this is what the command that we're going to use good so this is a uh, device security that we can put on routers and some of uh, switches as well now I'm going to uh, start configuring the switches. Okay, we're done with this. Now switches. Just like we were doing on, on uh, routers, we could configure the host name. So we're going to configure here host name. Same thing, let's put it S1. Password to access the privilege mode. I want to, uh, to to enable secret. Let's say Cisco one two three four five. All right. If we want to access it remotely, telnet it uh, telnet. This time I'll show you line BTY zero to fifteen for switches. It's line BTY zero to fifteen. And then instead of telnet, while accessing it remotely, you're going to type telnet and the, uh, the IP address of that switch. Okay, password, I'm going to put it Cisco12345, login. So telnet, when the password is going through the channel, it is in plain text. So that's the difference between telnet and SSH. SSH, it goes in a secure manner encrypted whereas for telnet it is unencrypted so plain text password is going for the channel okay and uh, then we have to configure on switches it's the interface that we're going to put in ip it's interface vlan one this is the virtual lan the same way we were addressing IP address 
let's put it 116 16.2 255 255 255 zero no shot now we have to tell the switch which path to take to reach the gateway so IP, so we have to configure the gateway this way. IP default, the IP address of the server, 16.16.1. Here is the switch, the gateway is here. For this PC, the gateway is here. The gateway is always the closest router that it is connected to and the interface that falls inside. So here we have to go through this when we come here. Here is the gateway. To be able to go out of the network. So that's important for you to know how we can pick up the gateway, the VLAN. So again, here it's the show run. We're going to see show run. The IP address configured, the gateway configured. Right, so that's it for today.